Hey, um, it's me, Akili, and I am doing a video today on natural aluminum-free deodorants. Um, back in November, almost almost a year ago, I cut all of my hair off. Um, I actually transitioned. I had a relaxer for a really long time, and it was very long, just down to my mid-back. And um, I decided, I then I lost a bunch of hair like just from right here to right here and for no reason it wasn't related to a perm um it, it probably was related ultimately to having a perm but i hadn't had a touch up or anything recently um that had caused it to happen and um i decided that i wanted to not relax my hair anymore so i didn't and i stopped i had my last relaxer in april of 2008 i transitioned with twists um for about six to eight months um, and then in November I took the twist out and I went and I cut all my hair off um, and it was just um, very short maybe there'll be a picture uh, shortly anyway ultimately um, learning about how to care for my hair and uh, when it wasn't relaxed um, because, you know, I heard a lot of stories, and that is my dog. Cleo! Chill! Um, I heard a lot of stories about how having natural hair was really, really difficult, and how it was impossible to maintain, um, and I wanted to learn as much as I could, and so I started learning about um, different hair care products um, that were geared for people who have highly textured hair. Um, my hair isn't really, my hair is a mixture of curly and kinky, um, I wouldn't call it naturally curly. Uh, it's curly and kinky, and it's very highly textured. Um, I, of course, discovered Oyen Handmade, uh, which I use frequently. I love their products. Um, Miss Jessie's, Kinky Curly, a number of people. Um, and one of the things that I kept finding in people's discussions of how to care for your natural hair was that um, there was a focus on using more natural products and why exactly not using natural products, using a lot of synthetic products or man-made products or petroleum-based products um, or uh, any other kind of chemical-based products weren't so good for you. And so I've been, for the last year, I've been trying to slowly, uh, a little longer than a year actually, because when I was transitioning with twists I was using my Greg's juice and stuff. I make my own now, so, um, but I was certainly at that time doing that, um, and one of the things I wanted to test out was aluminum-free deodorant. Um, for a number of reasons, we don't really know the effect that aluminum has on us. I have a high incidence of breast cancer in my family. Um, and a lot of people say that it's connected, uh, aluminum and deodorants are connected to breast cancer. Um, also, um, you know, you know, I'm, I'm very wary of putting stuff that we don't know exactly how it affects people um, on my skin where it can <laughs> seep into my pores. Um, that always concerns me. And then finally, um, the idea that you have toxins in your body that don't allow you to sweat is one that's a little disconcerting to me. I sweat a lot. I, I work out every day. I run several miles every day. Um, so for me, it's really important to uh, be able to get whatever's in me out and detoxify that way. So I did a search. Um, I started using um, different kinds of deodorants and I'm today I'm just gonna review three three that I've found that have worked best um, I may do others later um, ones that I didn't find that work so great um, so before I get into it I want to do a little caveat about um, where I'm finding these products and why I think that you should find them too so um, we'll do that Okay, so the very first thing is that um, there are a lot of places that make or claim to make natural products, um, and you can find them at your grocery store. Um, at my grocery store, I shop at Fred Meyer um, a lot, and they have a natural products section, and they actually have pretty strict guidelines. I was actually speaking the other day with one of the um, buyers for Fred Meyer, and she was explaining to me what can and cannot go into the natural products section. Um, 
And so uh, they have a lot of like Giovanni products there, a lot of Jason products, um, Tom's of Maine, Burt's Bees, um, Kiss My Face, uh, a lot of, uh, I think the, those are the ones that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, uh, Newman's, like for food, you know, they have Newman's and uh, other, other brands of organic and uh, natural products. Um, a lot of those are great. Um, they cost more uh, than the places I've been finding them. So if you're cost conscious and you're not interested in um, spending a lot of money, um, listen to what I say. Um, also, like there are on, obviously there are on online re retailers. Uh, Lush is one that's popular with a lot of people. I used to really like Lush. I am very anti-Lush. I'm not anti-Lush. I just would not give them my business. I don't have a problem with other people you know, use them. Um, I found that for the money, and the reason I keep looking down is because it's a little bright. I guess I could bring the lights down. Um, but I think my cat is enjoying the sunbeam right here. Um, so one of the things that I have a problem with with Lush is that, um, their products don't really work as great as they say they do. Um, so I'm sure that for some people they do, but for me, um, my experience with them has been just mediocre, um, especially since they're so expensive. I do love their solid perfumes. Those last, for, they, those are wonderful. Um, but for all the other things I've ever gotten at Lush, they haven't really done what they suggest that they do. Um, also, their ingredients are not particularly organic. I know that some of the brands that I buy, um, like Oyen Handmade, most of their ingredients are food grade ingredients, even though they're going on your body. Um, I don't know that that's the case with Lush. I have not found that to be the case in the past. Um, not to knock Lush. I mean, Lush is fine. Um, just those are the concerns that I have. Um, so, and mostly it's the price that, that really concerns me, especially when you have places like Etsy that are available, and I love and I live and die by Etsy, um, that offer handmade cosmetics, handmade bath and body products for you um, at very reasonable prices so you don't have to commit to something that you're not aware of how it's going to work um, and frequently it's customizable for you. Um, go to Etsy, um, you decide you want, you know, a body cream and it has tea tree oil in it or something and you're like, hey, you know what, I'm allergic to tea tree oil. Uh, can you change that for me? Thank you. And the person will usually say, yeah, I can totally do that. Uh, you want a candle? You're like, hey, you know what, you have all these other scents, but I would like this scent or a mixture of scents. You can go to Etsy and, they, and say, hey, I just a moment. Come here, cat. Oh, please don't throw up on my CDs that you're laying on. Thank you. He can throw up on the floor. It'll be great. Um, and, um, yeah, so you can say, hey, I'd like you to mix the scent of sage in with my citrus scented candle. And they'll say, yes, we'll be happy to do that. So I highly recommend Etsy if you're looking for natural products for your for your face, for your body, for your hair, whatever. Um, actually, one of the people that I buy a lot of my stuff from for my hair is from Etsy. Um, her shop is called Darcy's Botanical, and she is a woman out of Georgia. Uh, her name is Lysandra, and she makes really awesome, um, like a cream, like a styling cream for your hair, and it has aloe and castor oil, and it smells like frosting, it smells like vanilla. I love the smell of vanilla, as you'll see in a moment. Um, one of the other things she makes, which is really cool, is she'll make a customized leave-in conditioner for you, which is um, pretty good. It's um, almost equal to that of Kinky Curly's uh, leave-in conditioner, um, except for she makes it smell in whatever way you want it to. So. Um, she makes a lot of stuff. She also makes a deodorant. I haven't tried hers yet because it's very expensive and I'm not a, very sure about the scent. Um, but maybe one of these days I'll get around to getting her deodorant. But on to the deodorants that I have. 